Tres kanlı kahve. <gülüyor> Hello. This is uh, Andy S83. And today I'm going to give a short review of this book compared to the movie. Alien 3, the comic book, the illustrated script uh, by William Gibson compared to the final product that was um, made by David Fincher and the script was credited to David Geiler and Walter Hill and Larry Ferguson. So this guy was not credited at all. Um, yes. So let's start a little bit with uh, the talk about um, Alien 3, the movie. <clears throat> uh, I've already talked about this in the Dr. D and me talk about movies and TV here. Here we are. Uh, and um, I am one of those people who actually like this movie. I have the DVD version, which is the original theatrical version, I think they call it. And then you have uh, this one that is um, has both of them in him in it. Uh, it it's um, it's a Blu-ray. I have uh, Alien One, Two, Three, and Four, both on DVD and um, and, and Blu-ray. I do my and I'm not, I'm not a big spender. Uh, but the thing is that you actually got all those four movies and Prometheus for basically the same price as uh, regular DVD ones. Things are getting really cheap, uh, and thank God we have green people who are going to make sure this is not going to continue. Because this <laughs> this this uh, the box costs about the same as I paid for one DVD uh, when it was new. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I bought it. And this one has Prometheus too, and I didn't have that. I also have Alien Covenant. So, so you can basically say I, I, I know about the alien lore. Uh, and in case people don't get it, I also know the context of this book, why it's published, what it means. Uh, and this seems to be like this common norm that Alien 3 is bad. Uh, and as I said again, I have, as you can see here, already defended thoroughly the original work. So uh, I, I don't understand why this that movie was so seen as so bad. And now we're going to compare it to this one that I think people uh, claim should have been the movie. Now, there's a couple of things to address first. First, I'm going to talk about um, uh, just the general things like that doesn't contain spoilers. Uh, uh, how it is presented. And then I'm going to go in, in a little bit, not in depth, but I'm going to talk about the plot and that will contain spoilers. And then I will um, at the end say or reflect on whether or not this one would be, have been a better Alien 3 movie than this one, which I think some people claim. Uh, but, but first one will address that this may have been like a first draft or a second draft. Uh, rendition of the comic. I don't know uh, whether or not the plan was to work further on it. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But um, I, as I said, I don't hate this one. For some reason people in the alien fan community seem to hate this one. I don't understand why. Don't care. Uh, well actually I do care. I actually find it kind of perplexing and fascinating that people Really hate this movie, uh, but I already talked about that in in another video that you can find on my channel if it's not been copyrighted or something like that. You know, I probably use some clips from the movie to address some issues, and you know the copyright. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is the comic. Let's talk about first the art uh, and the book in general. Uh, I, I think uh, the book is looks good on the shelf, you know, nice uh, nice um, picture in the front. Looks looks uh, shelf-worthy, to put it like that. Shelf-worthy, yeah. 
is made by is published by Dark Horse Comics, which uh, I haven't read a lot of Dark Horse Comics before, but I know of them. They make uh, franchise-related comics usually uh, to explore things outside of the um, movies. Bit Star Wars, I think. Alien, Predator, Alien vs. Predator, all those things. Um, so the first thing is like the art. Let's talk about uh, and I, I I like the um, I like the book like art wise. Uh, no problems there. Looks nice, doesn't you think? Gradient looks alieny. I have no problem with art. Uh, I think if I gather, gather it that this is not like the first time this published. I think there was, they were published. Um, I think they were published uh, as a, as serials first. I think uh, when I bought it, I thought, oh, this is probably like the first time it's been published, but it's not. I think I think it was published first as a serial, which I think is actually kind of uh, strange too. We'll get to that when we go to spoilers. How they split it up but i i like this um intro by the script writer reflecting on it's short and to the point but it even gives context to what you're gonna read uh nice nice and polite little letter to the reader uh, the general art as i said is fine uh, it's, it's not really high art but it does its purpose and that's to tell the story of how alien 3 could have been uh, <clears throat> and now so if you are an alien fan i would recommend buying this nice 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 book now let's talk about the plots the plot and how i think what i think about the plot compared to alien 3 <clears throat> okay so you have so you have uh, the plot. Uh, the first thing I thought was that, and again, this is, if this is a serialized thing, which I understood it to be, it takes a while before anything happens. Uh, I, I do think that it's serialized by, um, if you look like, say here, okay. Um, and then you turn the page. Blah, 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 blah. And then you see like this, I always, I, I interpret it as such, at least that this would be like the end of comic book issue one. And this is the start of comic book issue two. Don't know. And again, you can see the art. Nice art, right? N nothing to complain about there. Uh, but it, sometimes it's just a lot of dialogue and not a lot of action. So it's not like uh, divided into a little bit talk, a little bit action. It's... Is, is the final chapter that has the climax, which I understand. It is a script after all, but but it still feels like uh, it can be like issues w without any real alien-y things at all, if you ask me. And, um, okay, so the, here's the plot. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Um, it starts at the end of Aliens, which Alien 3 does, does too. Uh, where Newt, Hicks, and a Ripley is in a spaceship called the Sulaco, I think. Um, and it's being boarded by a group of people, a communist uh, group of people, um, that just explore the Sulaco for a little while because it's some kind of like a, a political thing addressed here or where you, you can board ships. If it is in this area, but as soon as it travels beyond that area, you lose the rest. So they have a, like a short period of time for doing that. And there's like three people exploring the area. And then they discover that um, Bishop has an alien egg. Now, <laughs> again, I, 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 we get to the problems. But I don't think it was addressed later why Bishop had the alien egg. Uh, the motive and the morality and the agenda of Bishop was arguably a little bit interesting in Aliens. You weren't really sure his allegiance. Was it to the people in the story or was it to the company, uh, Valen-Yutani? 
uh, and in the beginning, it seems to be that he took an alien egg with him or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'll see if I can find the art for that. See here. It does seem like they imply that, or it could be something. I did not catch any explanation for it, except that there you are, right? It's in there with Bishop. Could perhaps be. I don't. I don't understand what that means. To be honest with you. Uh, and then uh, one of those people are um, uh, uh, attacked by the face ogre and uh, and then there's a fire for some reason that I don't understand why and then the, at the next time they are in this lock of the fire is gone I don't understand why don't think that is addressed either why is it a fire is it just to cause chaos so they you get an impression that they have to leave now. They don't, can't bring with them uh, the guy who was attacked by the face ogre. I, I don't know. It's just some fire in the Slako that it's gone at the next uh, next time they are around. And I don't understand why the fire started. I don't understand it. And then two of the three leave. Uh, and they leave with Bishop. And... There seems to be something about Bishop having some DNA residue of the alien. I, I, I didn't get that either. Uh, as I said, I'd only read it once. Uh, so, and I haven't like studied it. Uh, just a general notion I got from it. And then, um, uh, and again, if you don't get it on the first read, I, I, rereading is always good. It's not like that, but, um, but the point is, it's not explicitly stated clearly why things happens when I don't get it. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, and so uh, two of the three leave with Bishop and then the last one is uh, impregnated with an alien. And then um, and then I think it ends about there. And then you get introduced to a science division for Whalen Newtonia on some planet, you know. And... Um, and... Uh, and then there's a lot of characters in this book that's like the th favorite thing that I, I, I you lose track of the characters you know there's all kinds of characters oh but Nude is here Hicks is here yeah and I think even remember that like the script I made a point that he wanted uh, uh, the third one to be about Bishop but really Bishop isn't all that like, big character too many characters and then you lose track of it all that's like one of my complaints already there because okay let's just get right into it i do not think at all that this movie this script would have been better than this movie in this um in this uh version i'm not saying that it's not it doesn't have any qualities at all it's uh, you can be uh, uh reflective you don't need to put it into a good bad dichotomy uh, it is okay. It is interesting to read. It is interesting to read this because um, because it's um, it is how it is. This was an a suggestion for an Alien Dream movie, but I don't understand why people say this one would have been so much better. Uh, because okay again lots of characters lose track of them all uh, the plot uh, first that they split like the events um, a good movie I think is is in closed circles right you don't do many jumps back and forth uh, that's like basic script writing I think there like in the first alien movie you had it on one spaceship on the second movie you had it on one planet uh, on uh, the third one you had it on a prison planet right on the fourth one on a space station, etc. So that you, you keep it conti contained into a small area and you keep characters few. If there are many characters, like many citizens uh, in, in the story, you don't get to know them all. You get to know a, a select few, right? And then you get actually to know those characters. And, and again, you don't actually get to know the characters here. The new ones, they are very... Um, uh, cardboardy uh, like uh, you get you get what they are what he, what they are supposed to represent but you don't get to 
invest yourself in them in one way or another. Like there is this blonde chick here that works for the company. Let's see if I can find her, which I think could have been an interesting character if uh, if you got to know her more. But but it's like uh, she's like this cold um, cold uh, woman. Um, very clear that she's working for the company, this woman here. I think she was interesting. But she became very one-dimensional throughout. But I, I, I would have been interested to have her further developed into if there ever was some movie. Uh, and then you have uh, other characters, lots of them. And then you have two places where this story goes on. Again, very distracting. Um, there's okay, the, the space, the, the science division, this is the main part of the story, it's the science place where Ripley and Hitch and Newt are. And then you have another space station or some other place that is a communist one. Uh, which I guess in the 1980s um, would have been interesting because this Cold War was still going on for historical context. Um, and there's like this um, view that the company is um, it's bad because it's capitalism, right? And then you have, then you add the Marxist uh, ideology, and you see that it isn't all that much better there, right? Interesting idea should have been better explored. That's what I'm trying to say. Either that, I don't know how, uh, because again, uh, I I don't see how you could add that into that movie without making that what, what happened and an instruction. Because uh, you have like this, okay? They they have the DNA of the aliens, and then. Some communist guy who really looks like Lenin. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find him too. Then one moment. Uh, it's it's really uh, clear that you are supposed to understand that he is a communist because it looks like Lenin, not Lenin, Lenin, which is a important historical figure uh, in communism. Uh, in case you don't know about communism all that much, uh, I think this guy, um, this guy here, he looks like Lenin. Let me have a second opinion. Do you think that this looks like Lenin? Yeah, looks like Lenin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Lenin. Um. Uh, so, so, and they are like communists, uh, and they even call the other people capitalists and corporatists. Uh, but the conflict, which again, a nice interesting idea, but the conflict is not really explored all that much. It's like you have two, three parts of the comic where you are there. First, they discover it, and then uh, I think the comics have an interesting idea about uh, the aliens being... Uh, I, I think that was a nice thing. That would have been nice in another alien movie. Uh, he talks about the irony, and then they question what do you mean about the irony. That we are trying to develop this as a biological weapon, but it's clearly supposed to be a biological weapon from the get go, which is uh, the the genesis of the aliens uh, is not explicitly stated. Uh, in all in other movies, it is implied, uh, hinted at, theorized, but you never know for sure why the xenomorphs are there. Uh, but it, in the, it does seem like this is the, in, this, the theory of the communists that it's really ironic uh, how, um, how we're trying to develop it as a biological weapon when it's clearly already was a biological weapon or something along those lines. Uh, really difficult to find right now. And, and I don't know about um, uh, how much of this script uh, has been read and reread in Hollywood uh, because I do see, I do see ideas in this movie explored in Prometheus. Uh, like you have, um, this was never in the original movie, if you ask me, and then never in Aliens, and never in Alien Three, or an Alien uh, uh, Reincarnation or <laughs> Alien um, Resurrection. Um, but in Prometheus, they are starting to explore the idea of, of the aliens being, of the xenomorphs being um, uh, biological weapons from the get-go. 
Uh, but there are also things like uh, I again never seen in, in any of the other movies, uh, pure alien movies, that there's some kind of like uh, virus kind of thing, uh, aggressive DNA or whatever you want to call it, that sometimes uh, they get, um, you can get strange mutations even if it's not um, even if you're not like face hugged like uh, this seemed to be very close to um, oh but it's like the pictures are bad you should buy your own book okay I'm, I'm going to show you but but it's not like I'm not gonna give you the book but you see here um, there's like this event here and, and this this is a little small alien egg if you can see that uh, alien Covenant are also small alien eggs, if you remember. No, small um, uh, face huggers, not alien eggs. But you have small eggs, and then something comes out of it. And it seems to be one of those, like, almost like those creatures in the first Prometheus and the Prometheus movie, you know? Something along those lines. And then something happens here, I don't know what, but they are being bitten or something. Or, or touched by it. And then story goes on and then suddenly oh i'm infected with something and that infection is unlike any other um uh, infection in in the main alien canon because you know prometheus changed it up a bit but let's focus right now on on, on the main alien xenomorph storyline there's never been talk about infections it's more like a parasite infection, not a viral infection or a DNA infection. Um, but 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 they do change and mutate in this story, like they do in Prometheus. That's the point. Like they do in Prometheus, there are like this. Uh, it was not thoroughly explored, but you have like the black goo, and then they mutate, but they don't mutate this much. But there are uh, scenes and covered scenes, uh, edited out scenes about. Uh, the zombie-like creature uh, towards the end of Prometheus um, seemed to be more xenomorph-like in one uh, version of it. I know it gets nerd and specific, but I I think that's the like the point. When you watch this video, you are probably like me. Um, but yeah, there's uh, some kind of mutation going on that I have never seen before in the main alien storyline. Uh, so I do like the, that part, but then, okay, so you have like these two places, the Marxist one and the main scientific one with the heroes, or the good guys, Alien Ripley, you Newt, uh, Alien Ripley, no, Ripley, Newt and Hitch. Uh, and, 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 they, um, and then you have the communist one, and then you, t you visit those places three times or something, like talk about a little bit about the politics, and then that they have the DNA, then something about the science of the DNA, and then suddenly it's like mayhem. Like, dirt, 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 through, spread throughout uh, the story. Like, uh, okay, fine, whatever. But it's, it's like, you don't, I don't get invested into that because it's, it just gets, it's just so shallow and so short. Uh, I don't know how one could fix that, keep that idea about communism and capitalism being both cynical, polarized versions of each other. Fine, interesting idea. How could you keep that without making it into like this mush list? Uh, I don't know, but I like the idea don't like the execution of it um, and then uh, something happens something happens like dialogue stuff happens what happened to that uh, communist guy who got infected yeah they saw something there and suddenly he appears right that suddenly appears alongside those strange mutations and again I just I people are starting to bleed out their mouth things happen it's a lot more body horror in this one uh, uh alien has always been seen as body horror but to me it's not it's not been that much of a body horror right it's just the first one was a little bit body horror and there's been a little bit of body horror and then a lot of slashing uh, murder death but it's not like a big big part of the movie is about body horror in this one, it's more body horror. Uh, people are getting distorted, uh, mutated, uh, stuff like that, uh, losing their minds in pain, stuff like that. 
violence of course lots of violence decapitation uh, and then there's like uh, this climax uh, uh, and then they travel off this, the, the planet and that's the end of it and I just like okay um, I, I think the ideas are good but I think the plot is bad there's not like a, um, a cleansing cathartic uh, thing in it it's not it's not deep it's not uh, it's the, the ideas are good but not uh, thoroughly investigated just implied uh, I'm not saying it should be on the nose but but uh, more time on the communist era more time on things and yet it's still a lot of dialogue here <laughs> a lot of dialogue it's reading 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 until action but the act it's kind of like Instead of having a little bit of action, a little bit of action, a little bit of action, and then a big showdown, it's just a little uh, talk, 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 big climax. Uh, and again, I, I don't, I like the ideas explored here, and I see them in Prometheus, right? But I think it would be like Prometheus. Like, if you watch Prometheus, you, you probably would agree with me, hopefully, that rhymes a lot, that it is a. Uh, faulty movie that has some interesting ideas and i think that would be have been the same if this was the end result this would be the final alien 3 that it, people would agree that ah oh, it had some interesting ideas but it was a faulty movie kind of like this one but this one the alien movie the final product i think has more of a cathartic aesthetic fitting uh, because William Gibson talks about this being a trilogy or a part three, and there are rules for the trilogy. You should change it up a bit, and stuff like that. If you watch uh, Scream Three, you know about the rules of trilogy. Uh, uh, there has to be. This is not. This is another Alien movie uh, that actually doesn't feel a lot like Alien because of all the material. It feels more like Prometheus than Alien, uh, at times at least. Whereas this one feels like a, a, three, a part three. And people, I, again, why are people hating this movie? I guess it is because Hitch and Newt dies at the beginning. Spoilers, who cares? Here they are, but they are not very um, important to the story. Hitch maybe a little bit, uh, but they are not very important to the story. <laughs> uh, here's what happens to them then. Um, she uh, uh, knew Hitch and I, Ripley ends in a coma and then after a while they shoot her out into space. Uh, end of her story, she's not in it that much. Uh, she's sleeping all the time. Uh, would have been great part for Ripley. Uh, be great part for Sigourney Weaver. She would just be sleeping the, throughout the entire movie. And then Newt just travels to space uh, that's the end of her storyline and then uh, she traveled back to her grandparents or something happy ending happy ending that that would have been the end of, of those two characters and then hitch would be an action hero for a while by lots of subtext about uh, lots of stories of the, kind of like prometheus about the dna of the xenomorph the mutating blah 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 and if you didn't like it in Prometheus, why would you like it here? I don't know. Uh, and then um, you have a uh, 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 big showdown, roll credits, done. Right? That would be the end. That's the story. And um, fine. Why would people want this one more than this one? Because this, this one has an aesthetic quality, a fitting thematical conclusion to a story. This one would just be aliens with more with more uh, strangeness, more body horror. Oh, that's great. Well, then you have Prometheus if you like it. But you don't like Prometheus, but I, don't like... I think people would not like this one if it was in a movie. I, d I don't think so. Uh, it would feel hollow. Again, the ideas here are interesting enough, but it's done, executed badly. That's what I think. So, uh, yeah, I think that should be the end of it.
But it is interesting, and uh, perhaps more of the ideas could have been implanted in here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, he seems to say something about the only thing that was added here was the the barcodes, but I can't even remember reading about the barcodes in this one. To be honest with you, I can't remember it. No, I don't think so. I can't remember it. Who cares? Um, so you would get more uh, body horror, more uh, blood, more guts, more violence, uh, more uh, degradation. People like that, perhaps. But again, I, I think people, if they were to watch this movie and then watch this one, they both exist in the same universe. I think people would prefer this one. You get to see more Hitch, you get to see more Newt. Fine. Why do people care? Uh, because Newt is like, she gets a happy ending, right? Has Aliens ever been about happy endings? Again, Aliens was perhaps the most blockbuster Hollywood type movie, but the first one was not all that happy. And the, th the third one was neither. And then the fourth one came, and that was back to the Hollywood uh, type action slock, right? What is Aliens? It's not a happy story. You're not supposed. It's a horror type movie. Aliens change it up a bit. I get it. I get it. But um, I don't understand why people don't appreciate uh, Fincher, Fincher's uh, attempt at going back to more. Uh, scary bleak darkness another thing that i i kind of didn't like about this was um, the first aliens alien movie was about the deadness of space the emptiness of space the darkness the loneliness the coldness the entropy right you're visiting a dead planet and then you find something you find life and then you find that life hates you um and then in Aliens, they make like this uh, implement that there are other types of aliens out there. I, I tend to like disregard that. There's a comment on it that it's just another bug hunt. And people think, seem to think that that implies that um, there are other aliens out there. But I, I, I don't like Alien. I, what I like about Alien franchise compared to like Star Trek is that it is a dead universe there aren't a lot of life there i don't like what they did in prometheus i don't like star trek the like where there's like life everywhere we don't as of 2019 we're still living in a dead universe we haven't discovered anything this is the most plausible thing and a theme worth exploring the deadness of space the coldness of space. And in this one, they I also add like all the other creatures. It's not, you don't see them, which is very smart, but they are implied that there are aliens over all other places too. Uh, not intelligent, I think, but at least life. But I like, like in the first movie, the coldness, the deadness, the silence of the universe. That is what I think. If I were to make an alien movie, that would be like something I would explore more. Uh, probably kept the first, second, and third one, uh, and then go beyond that. Uh, this I would disregard Prometheus and and Covenant. I don't like those movies. <laughs> I try to like them because I'm a fan, but but I <laughs> it doesn't. It do it, I I thought like Alien Covenant would be interesting, you know. I thought it would be like, um, this could retcon or save the Prometheus one, but it really didn't. But, 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 but we talked about that in, uh, in, um, in a Dr. Mimi, Dr. D and me talk about movies and TV. So we'll just keep that as is. The point was, I don't think people think, uh, would have loved this much more than Alien 3. If it isn't, if the only complaint you have about Alien 3 is that Newton Hitch dies, if that's your only complaint, then yes, you would love this one. But I, I, again, I don't get why that is a problem. Uh, it's not like, oh, characters die, that's great. It's not what I'm saying, but 
But the point is, it, the death of those characters is fitting to the story, the themes of the story. It's not just shock. It's not just for shock value, like in so many other movies. Like, like in Game of Thrones, they kill characters all the time just for shock. Just for, oh my god, everybody can die. That's stupid, that's bad writing. But in this this one, it is. it, it has a f clear thematic reason for it. Yes. Well, that's the end of my review. Hope you like it. Rate, subscribe, and comment. And uh, keep watching the stars. La 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 la